So this is a guarded yoga nidra to help you deeply relax or to help you fall asleep at night peacefully and to sleep deeply. So to begin, lie down on a padded floor or on a bed that's comfortable and supportive. Make sure your body is well aligned so that there's no pressure on your head or neck. We're lying in Shavasana, which is the corpse pose. So the feet and ankles are just relaxed, dropping out to the sides and slightly parted. And the hands, arms, by your side with your palms face up. So just spend a little time finding this comfortable, relaxed posture. Once you've found a comfortable position where you're not going to be disturbed, just give yourself complete permission now to let everything go. This is a time where there's nothing you need to plan or think about or remember. This is a time when you can completely empty out. And yoga nidra means yogic sleep. But it's such a deep sleep where the awareness can still be bright. But the conceptual thinking mind can be at rest and quiet. So this is where we get to in the deepest part of a yoga nidra. And we use the body awareness to help us relax and let go of any tensions. So as I talk you through the body parts systematically, just gently and easily follow the instructions, but don't think about it. Don't try too hard. There's no need to visualize if you find that's difficult to do. Just get a felt sense. So to begin with, take your attention to your right thumb. your right forefinger, your middle finger, ring finger and little finger. Bring your awareness to this part of the body and relax, let go. The palm of the right hand, the back of the hand, the right wrist, the forearm, the elbow, 
and the upper right arm and the right shoulder. So feel into the whole right arm and hand and just gently encourage yourself to relax all the muscles in this region of your body. And as you do so, you can feel the arm becoming heavier, softer, and the tension draining away. The left thumb, left forefinger, middle, ring, and little finger of the left hand, palm of the hand, the back of the hand, the wrist, the forearm, the elbow, the upper arm, and the shoulders. So the whole of the left part of the hand, arm, up to the shoulder, relaxing, letting go, becoming more sensitive to this part of the body and relax. Moving the attention now into the throat, relaxing all the muscles in the throat area, the attention moving down to the upper chest, the clavicle, the right breast, the left breast, the middle of the chest, the rib cage, the stomach, all around this soft part of the body and down into the abdomen and the hips. So feel the whole front part of the torso now from the throat, just scanning the attention down, like a warm oil, imagining it flowing down from your throat, all the way down the upper front torso to the lower part of the pelvis. And if you can't feel anything there, if it feels a bit blank, don't pressure yourself, don't try. Just have a general awareness of this part of the body. Becoming heavier, more relaxed, and all the tension draining away. Moving your attention now into the back of the neck, feeling the muscles here, noticing if there's any tightness, tension, just be with this body part gently and lovingly, carefully, letting all the tension in the neck muscles drain away. Imagine it draining away through the floor or through your bed. Feeling the upper part of your back, 
the right shoulder blade, the left shoulder blade, and letting it sink deeper and deeper into the bed. As the attention moves down consciously to the middle part of the back, If you can, you can feel the internal organs or even just imagine knowing that encased within this body are organs, you can sometimes feel, so just relax, but don't try. From the middle part of the back all the way down to the lower back. Feeling all the muscles, the bones, the whole of the spinal column resting heavy against the floor, against the bed and sinking deeper and deeper with each muscle that relaxes, with each letting go. Everything softening, relaxing, becoming heavier. can do a quick scan from your neck all the way down through your back to your lower back, letting go, giving yourself permission to relax deeply. Tension moving now into your right buttock. Let that sink deeper, softening, and your left buttock. So the whole of the back side now, feeling its weight, feeling the heaviness. and dropping any tension or holding in this part of the body. Moving your attention into your right thigh, the front part of the thigh, and the back of the leg, the upper leg, heavy, relaxed, letting go into the right knee, the back of the knee, the shin and the calf muscle, letting go, relaxing as your gentle awareness settles on this part of the body now. Into the right ankle. The top part of the foot. The sole of the right foot. And each toe. First toe, middle, fourth toe, and the fifth toe. The whole of the foot.
feeling the tingling sensations, all the pressure in the soles of the feet and imagine any tension or tiredness is just draining away out through your right foot now. So the whole of the right leg, just scan the awareness from the top to the middle to the bottom of the foot, becoming heavier, more and more relaxed. The attention shifting now to the left leg starting with the left thigh, back of the thigh, left knee, the back of the knee, the left shin and calf, all the way into the ankle, top of the left foot, bottom of the left foot, and all the toes, from the big toe, the second toe, the middle toe, the fourth toe, and the little toe. Tingling, relaxing, letting go. All the tension, all the tiredness just draining away out through your left foot and just sweep your attention from the top of the thigh all the way down gently, mindfully. The whole left leg is completely relaxed. The awareness now moving up to your face, starting with the forehead, allowing any tension to drain away from your forehead and your right and left temples. Noticing if there's any holding, any frowning, softening this part of the body. The right eye, eyelid, the left eye, eyelid. The middle part between the eyes, the nose, the cheeks, the right cheek, the left cheek, the jaws, just notice if you're holding, if there's any pain or tension, just breathe in. And we relax everything consciously within this yoga nidra. So the jaws are relaxed. Chin. So the whole of the face from the forehead through the eyes, cheeks, nose, chin the mouth, the tongue, even the teeth, as we notice if we're holding, everything's releasing, relaxing. Now the whole of the scalp, from the crown of the head, Imagine a warm oil 
as your attention gently drifts through the whole of the head, the skull. The head relaxed, the face, the ears, the right ear, the left ear. No part left unattended, everything relaxing, alive but soft and letting go. So the entire body now has been attended to. Every part is relaxed, cared for. Every part is given permission just to soften. You can just lie there comfortably, allowing the attention to float wherever it wants to go in terms of the body. You might just like to have a a general awareness of the body as a whole, lying on the floor. Or you might let it drift into different parts and as it will but without any effort or doing involved. And notice how comfortable this is, how relaxing this is. The awareness can just settle. The thoughts can come and go if they still wish to. That's no problem. Just let them drift in and out like clouds as you let the sensations and the awareness of the sensations drift in and out like clouds. Because everything's soft and light And you notice a bright, still, quiet awareness. This is not something you have to consciously relax. 
or bring into being. Once the waves of conceptual thought have settled down, we find this natural stillness, this natural peace, and the body and mind are in harmony. Deeply relaxed, deeply at peace. If anything pops up, trying to disturb you within your mind, don't give it permission to stay, but don't fight it either. So we're not clinging, we're not holding to anything. We're not holding on to any thought, any perception, any idea, any physical sensation. Bringing the awareness totally to the fore. These things just drop off naturally. They arise and cease of their own accord of course, but if we place our full being in being present and aware, none of these things can get a foothold, none of these things can disturb us. It's like the mind and the body are now in deep sleep. But the awareness 
is awake. So this is conscious sleeping. But it's not something we think about or start analysing because then we move away from it. So it's just a still, quiet knowing, an intuitive awareness. body and our mind says thank you for giving it this deep rest, this deep healing that takes place within Yoga Nidra. And depending on the context and what we need to do. We can either spend more time here in conscious relaxation rising when we feel that we wish to, we need to We can just allow ourselves to drift off into a deep, peaceful sleep. When sleep overtakes, but we do that having given a conscious attention and healing to our bodies and our minds. <laughs> 